Okay, I'm back out at the park again with a new pair of shoes, as you can see. It's a great day. It's about 4.20 in the afternoon. 73-ish, I think. 74-ish, maybe. Light breeze. The sun's kind of bright, but I don't know. I like doing shoe reviews out here for some reason. All right, so I got these at Hibbit um, online. Um, like finish line, they have great sale prices. So what did I get? I got some Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2s. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. I told you, I like breeze. Down there. And let's get boy and boy there. And we got that nice lime green, not really bolt. What is it called? Electric? Yeah, electric green. So not bolt, but electric green is what the color code is on the box. And brand new, as you can see. Take that out. Uh -huh. Love these. I always try to buy the brightest shoes that I can find. Um, I screwed up on finish line. They had this shoe in the um, the like orangish red on there. They had it for a hundred bucks, and I was sitting there procrastinating and I did not uh, buy it. They had a thirteen. I just sat there and waited. I was like, "It'll be there another day. It'll be there another day," and boom, the day I go to order it, it's gone. So in a frantic. I started looking for it online and I can't find 13 anywhere, so I'm gonna to have to try to maybe grab those on eBay. But I found these, and these at Dick Sporting Goods are, are like $149.99. But like I said, Hibbit um, had them for $124.88. And Dick's will price match if you uh, find them at Dick's, but we can just order them from Hibbit also. You know, they got to me pretty quick. Um, I did try these on already. Um, the one thing. I noticed about them is you know these are uh you know a runner marathon type shoe distance shoe so when i had them on they weren't they're not as snug as like the epic react which is obvious and they feel a little loose um but they're ridiculously comfortable so i'm gonna i decided to overlook that part that they're a little loose right here I, even if i cinched them up really tight you know laced them up um they still never seem to really close as much as I want them to. Now, that is probably because people who run, I'm sure their ankles and their their feet swell a lot more than me, than me just casually running on the treadmill or out on the track. You know, I'm not putting in, you know, 100 miles on these shoes, you know, 10 mile runs, 5Ks and stuff like that. I'm just wearing them for one, comfort, two, to work out at the gym in and you know use them on the elliptical or on the treadmill or or on the stair stepper you know um this is not something i would squat in obviously um i really buy these shoes because they're cool to look at um if i ran more i would but you know i had a couple knee surgeries so running's a bit tough on pavement compared to on a treadmill so it's not like i can put in a ton of work so anyways uh so size wise 13 being loose they're very comfortable the toe box part is perfect actually now my toe on the 13 comes to about here though um i tried to get a 12 uh to see if there was a big difference but um, no one had it, so I just decided to keep the 13s. This is probably the first Nike shoe that felt a little bit, bit big in a 13 for me. Um, normally, um, Nike shoes always feel like super snug um, and almost short in, in a lot of things. So uh, in, in all their lines, in basketball and training shoes, um, my foot always feels a little cramped in them. So... It was, a, it was refreshing to put this shoe on and actually have space, you know. That's one reason why I wear um, Adidas Ultra Boost a lot, because that, that fly net 
or not fly net, but that prime net, um, uh, excuse me, Adidas, <laughs> um, you know, stretches really well. So you don't feel in the toe box like you're cramped in there. Um, and, you know, the Ultra Boost is great. Now, the Zoom technology um, with the carbon fiber shank is amazing. I walked around on these um, in Dick's Sporting Goods because that's where I tried them on initially. Um, about, a, about, I would say about a month ago before I ordered these. Um, and when I walked around the house last night in them, same thing. Um, I love Ultra Boosts. However, this Nike Zoom foam in these shoes is great. It's very comfortable. The arch support is awesome um, on it um, because I do have a little bit of a fallen arch. Not terrible, um, but it's, it, it felt really nice. Um, the, uh, the carbon shank in there that's supposed to like that is supposed to be for like, you know, the spring action that the shoe gives you when you're, when you're running. Um, I'll learn more about that later on, uh, as I use them on the treadmill. Um, or maybe if I go for a light walk slash run on the track by my house. Um, but as just walking around in them, I felt that they were as comfortable as an ultra boost. Um, I know sacrilege, <laughs> but it was, it was very surprising actually. And, and I liked it a lot. Um, you know, the design on this shoe is great. I like how this all goes, you know, sort of like, you know, zooming through more or less. Um, I'll probably pick this shoe up in the black and the purple. Um, I saw that that one's about to go on sale also. So, um, I will put these on. So give me a sec. Okay, I got them on. Love that electric green color. I have a couple other pairs, same thing in this. So you see what I mean by that they're kind of roomy, like around there. Like I don't have them laced up super tight because I don't like my shoes laced up real tight, but like around the ankle, they're real roomy. And you could see like in the toe box, like there's where my toe is on that. So, uh, I mean, they they fit great. Um, they're like one of my more comfortable, but see, see where like there's a gap right there. You can totally see it right there. So that's like, that's exactly like what I was saying. It's like they're very loose right there, which is fine. I'm sure if I was a more experienced runner, I would have a better answer for this, but I'm not. And I'm sure someone who is a really good runner would say either a, that's what you want, or I've got them this sized, who knows, but they're comfortable to me and that's all that matters so um you can feel the zoom energy return on it it's not really energy return but you feel like carbon shank but like like as you can see the zoom on there I mean, they're they're really comfortable um i would say that they're as comfortable as my ultra boost and i love ultra boost i've got like 12 to 13 pairs of, of them. I was wearing the KU pair today, but I've rebranded them my Patriots um, Ultra Boost, and I usually wear them for uh, Patriots games. So, anyway, this is it. New pair today. Probably got another pair coming soon again. Nike Zoom Pegasus Turbo 2s. Size 13, true to size, but roomy, comfortable. You know, they feel great. Um, so if you don't like a loose shoe, it's not, it's not your shoe. But if you like a comfortable shoe that is gonna stay on your foot, but it feels roomy, this is definitely a shoe for you. Especially if you like the arch and, the, and that zoom cushioning. Um, Again, I got them at Hibbit, 124 bucks. Hibbit's not endorsing any of this. No, no store endorses me. You know, I don't have any endorsements whatsoever. Um, if you like my videos, give them a thumbs up or a like. You know, same thing. And um, if you could subscribe, I would appreciate it. If you don't, 
I understand. It's not a big deal. This is just really a hobby for me. So, anyway, damn, I love that electric green. Enjoy. Have a good day. Adios.